In this video, I'll be giving you a grand tour of my agency's Asana, so you can see exactly how I manage my seven-person digital marketing agency. If you don't know who I am, I'm Daryl and I run an agency that does pay-per-click advertising for e-commerce clients called Bigflare. Today's tour will touch on how we use Asana to set and achieve big goals, divide work into projects and areas, manage our internal meetings and standardize our processes using templates. You'll even see the insides of our optimization catalog project, which shows the template tasks we do on a weekly, monthly and quarterly basis for all our Google Ads clients. If you'd like to see the inner workings of how to really succeed in the challenging world of PPC, then be sure to like and subscribe right now. And if you're ready to dive in, then let's jump over to my computer screen now so that I can show you the good stuff. All right, guys, so here we are inside Big Flare's Asana workspace. And what I'd first like to show you is how we organize the teams here in Asana. What you'll actually notice is that this sidebar over here has a person's name as the beginning of each team. And this is what we do at Big Flare is every person puts their projects and areas under a team that's just for them. So like you can see right here, this is my collection of projects and every project that I own is underneath here. It makes it super quick and easy for people to find all the projects and prioritize the projects that they are responsible for. And if you click here, you can see these. this is, for example, Dimitri's projects. So everyone has their own little area like this where they can put their projects, clients, and that is specific to them. Another little fun thing is just add, adding a little emoji that is personally relevant to each person. So I used to be uh, a owner of rats as pets, so I have a rat emoji. Uh, Lily is a crazy dog person with uh, possibly too many dogs and cats for her, for her small apartment, but she loves them, so she gets a little dog emoji. So on and so forth. Everyone has a, a little emoji that's kind of relevant to them in some way and underneath each person, we can then see their projects. So I'd like to show you how we structure some of our projects here at Big Flare. And one very important type of project for us that goes straight into Asana is OKRs, which is uh, uh, Objectives and Key Results. So that's uh, the goal setting framework that we use. Super powerful for achieving tough things in the digital marketing space and getting your team all on the same page. And for us, uh, OKRs are a special kind of project, so what I generally do, what we generally do here, is to split uh, projects into either an area or a project. So uh, an area would be an area of continual improvement, it doesn't have a deadline, it's just like a never-ending area of continual improvement. So for me, I put my role as CEO down as an area and I colour code areas to pink. And YouTube channel publishing, I put down as an area, I color code it to pink as well. So I have one color for areas, one color for projects. And then there's some of the other areas that I work on there. Whereas a project is like a more specific definable thing that usually has an end date and a set number of tasks that once you tick off, the project is complete. So a project can be ticked off, an area can't. So we have projects and areas and uh, a color specific to each type of, of thing. And you can set the color uh, customization here, and I just like to have two colors, one for areas, one for projects. And then a special kind of project is an OKR, which is how we do quarterly goal setting. So uh, let's have a look at this OKR here as an example. And what we do with our OKRs is we break them out into sections like this. So key results, that's the metric that we're using to track progress towards our objective. Uh, I don't know if you know much about OKRs, but the objective is the, sort of the big overarching inspirational goal that you're shooting for. And in this case, it's keep improving our Facebook ad service. We're working on really, really further improving our Facebook ad service this quarter. And then the key result is the metric that you measure to tell yourself whether or not you're um, actually uh, making progress on your objective. So for us, it's MMR fees for, from Facebook, uh, monthly recurring revenue from Facebook. And then initiatives are kind of projects or, or chunky big tasks that you run in order to make progress on your key result. Uh, and then tasks are like more singular tasks rather than initiatives, which are kind of bigger projects. And then we have this section down here for like things that are in progress, things that need review and waiting. Uh, and yeah, that's how we structure our OKRs. But OKRs are not the only kind of project. 
What I'd like to show you now is how an account manager, uh, for example, let's have a look at Dimitri, uh, how, might, how Dimitri might break out his clients and projects. So I've got a bunch of client projects here. Most of these are blurred out because uh, I can't show you the client names. So I've just got an example client area here and then an example project that we would run for a client here. So as you can see, Dimitri chooses to color code his areas to this pinky color with projects being blue as well. And if we look at this example client area, this is how we actually structure all our client projects in Asana. So we have an inbox section at the top. Any new tasks that haven't been sorted or prioritized yet, just go into the inbox. And then we have a section for weekly prios or weekly priorities. And this is just a section dedicated to, you know, what's the one to three most important things we should be working on this week. Uh, initiatives are sort of over and above. One thing that's really important to us here at Big Flay is to always be showing initiative. It's, it's in our core values as a company. And I think it's super important for clients that they always see us taking initiative and that they always see proactive stuff happening on the account. So we break out a whole section in our client projects just for initiatives, just for things that show proactivity and always like moving forwards no matter what, not just like some agencies, they like to go out there and they like to just, after a certain point, get to a point where they're just doing repeatable tasks. Like, oh yeah, there's the weekly task on that campaign and we did that and that's all we do, a bunch of weekly tasks. So we try and do the opposite of that and that's why we have weekly priors and initiatives that are always about sort of taking proactive effort over and above the, the weekly and monthly recurring tasks that you always have to do when you're running PPC campaigns. Having said that, recurring tasks are super important and they normally go into this section here for weekly tasks. Uh, and then checks, admins and miscellaneous. So that's anything that's just a small check or any administrative task that needs to be done on that client. And that's how we structure a client area. Uh, and then now let's look at how we might structure a one-off project for a client. So a one-off project would get these sections, very simple sections by status. So to do, in progress, waiting, and done. And for bonus points, you can actually use the customize section here in Asana, and you can set up a rule um, and we haven't set one up on this project yet, we normally do this, but you can set up a rule to, for example, move task move to a certain section when it's completed. So task move to a section, uh, so you can do it too, so you can, first of all, you can set up task move to a section, complete task, and we can say that section is going to be done. And what that will do now is if we move a task into the done section, then Asana will auto tick it for us. And then you can do the corresponding rule as well, where you go uh, add a rule, task marked as complete, move it to done. So now if I tick this here, then it will be auto moved into the done pile for me. Or if I move it into the done pile, it will be auto ticked for me. So you don't have to do that action twice. Very simple uh, automation you can do there, but if you like that kind of thing, I definitely recommend checking out the customize and then rules section here in Asana. You can get pretty funky with that, but I generally like to kiss, keep it simple, stupid, and just use the bare minimum number of rules so that things don't get overly complicated. Okay, so that's how uh, account managers can split out their clients and areas. Now let's have a look at some more fun stuff. Like for example, we like to have our meetings set up as projects here in Asana. So here you can see, these are all the meetings that I do internally on a regular basis. So like we have one project set up for our leadership team meeting. I've got some one-on-ones here as well. I'm just gonna dig into the leadership team meeting. And then this is the clients department meeting that's between the team director and the account managers who uh, report into him. Uh, and then we have a leadership team meeting and our, our meeting projects might look a little bit like this. So first of all, we have an agenda section and this is where we get specific on what are we talking about each week? What are the specific things and in what order are we going to talk about them? And then also rough guidelines on how, each, how long each section should take 
this really helps because like, if you don't put these rough guidelines in sometimes you may might take 45 minutes on the first two sections and then be like oh darn we've got no time left for the next three sections so having a guideline there really really helps and just having the agenda really helps your meetings as well and then issues this is so at this point point number four you'll notice that the first three items in the meeting are quick and we're supposed to spend the most amount of time on issues and issues is actually just where we discuss anything that's come up during the week that needs to be discussed on this meeting so throughout the week if anyone on this meeting thinks of an issue that should be discussed in this meeting they add it into this meeting project in Asana and then it will come up in this issues section when we get to the issues section of our meeting we'll pop this open we'll prioritize it and we'll just go from the top down to the bottom uh, discussing every single thing on the list uh, and then for anything in for anything that's discussed and we can just do there in the meeting we tick it off but for anything that then needs further action further input maybe we need to touch base on it next week again it goes into the in progress pile and then anything that's in progress we will discuss after we've discussed the issues so we can help keep those projects moving along and you know, you've got a few options when it comes to doing notes for your internal team meetings. But what I love about doing this in Asana is that, well, Asana is already where our tasks live. So everything that gets entered in here becomes super actionable. If you want to get someone to do this, you can just plonk their name next to it. And then it's gonna go straight into their task inbox. So having your meeting, um, notes here in Asana as opposed to a note-taking app such as uh, Evernote or Google Docs or Notion. Having them here in Asana just makes everything much more actionable and I find it just makes sure things get done a lot quicker than they would do otherwise. Now another special type of team we have here is the templates team. It's not really a team, I'm just using Asana's terminology. We, we more use, we more think of it like a folder. But this folder here, or team as Asana would call it, it's called templates. And this is where we put uh, our project templates. And there's a bunch of useful stuff in here, like client onboarding, team member onboarding. What I would like to show you though, is this one, optimization catalog. So here we have all the daily, weekly, monthly, and quarterly, and as needed tasks that we do for our clients' PPC campaigns. So this is super helpful for account managers coming in who need to understand what their repeatable tasks should be. We don't actually, what you can do with these templates is when you create a new project in Asana, you can use a template and then it pre-populates all this stuff. Rather than do that, we use this optimization catalog kind of like as a catalog uh, because you don't always have to do the exact same set of repeating optimizations for every client every single time. So instead, this is kind of like a catalog. Every time you launch a new client, you can come to this catalog, you can pick and choose the ones that are relevant for your client, and then copy and paste them out of the catalog into your client project to make sure that they get done on whatever frequency is ideal. And so weekly things, obviously those are things that need to get done weekly. We've got monthly and quarterly here, but another thing is that these sections are really just guidelines and it's really down to the individual judgment and experience of the account manager to decide what frequency and uh, what proportion of these tasks need to be done on each client. So there you have it, the inner workings of my agency's Asana workspace. Managing a team and achieving awesome results for multiple clients all at the same time can be challenging. Without a proper system for project management in place, you're gonna hit endless frustrations. But if you spend the time to craft a system and think carefully about exactly how your team should be using that system, you'll be making the entire thing a lot more frictionless. So I encourage you to do two things. Firstly, take a day out of your busy work schedule to do nothing but planning your project management system. Use my system as a basis, but ultimately forge a system that works for you and your team. Secondly, and most importantly, Click the like button below to show me some love and help me feed the YouTube algorithm with the stuff it needs to rank my videos a little bit higher.